hello guys welcome back to another video from the e innovators in this video we'll be making a flame sensor or file sensor because someone in the comment section asked us to make something like this apart from the fact we're having a lot of difficulty finding the proper hardware for it but uh, we still managed because of the pandemic situation and you know the lockdown and all that stuff uh, but we are trying our level best to satisfy your uh, queries and all uh, so please appreciate our content by liking or subscribing our channel uh, so without any wasting any further ado, let's jump into the video. To make a fire sensor, we require a flame sensor in which we have an IR receiver with three pins which includes signal pin or D0 pin, ground pin and VCC. Flame sensor also has a potentiometer through which we can increase or decrease its sensitivity. Other equipment is a buzzer, an LED, some jumper wires and an Arduino nano board. Firstly, we assemble our equipments on the breadboard for our ease. Then, sensor's VCC is connected with the 5 volts pin of Arduino. Its ground pin is connected with the ground pin of Arduino. And its D0 pin is connected with the D11 pin of our Arduino Nano. Buzzer's short terminal is negative and the long terminal is the positive. Negative of the buzzer is connected with the ground pin of Arduino and the positive is connected with the D12 pin of Arduino. Same as the buzzer, the LED's long terminal is the positive and the short terminal is the negative. The negative of the LED is connected with the ground pin of Arduino and the positive of the LED is connected with the positive terminal of the buzzer. If you follow us from the previous videos, so you will know, this is our Arduino code, which you can find in the description below. We need to select tools where we select board and select Arduino Nano. Also set port at which we connect the cable in our PC or any other device. On the top left corner, click compile and run to burn the code on our Arduino Nano board. After uploading the code, you can see how our system works. Let's discuss about the sensitivity of our fire alarm that can be controlled by the potentiometer available on the sensor. As we increase our sensitivity, we can see a small LED on the sensor. A system LED and a buzzer is high and its sensitivity is high. So we have to change its sensitivity in a way that our flame sensor works properly. So guys that's it for today, I hope you guys liked the video, if you did please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe our channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Guys as you can see we are giving importance to your comments in the comment section below. I mean when someone asks us about the different projects and different queries and what he actually wants us from in the future, we actually are giving answers to you guys so basically don't hesitate about that. Please tell us what you guys want from us in the future, what projects are you looking at forward and we will actually outline our content accordingly in the future so basically we want your feedback it's really important for us and for you as well and also join us on twitter on facebook the links are in the description below be a part of the technical family see you guys in the next video peace out